Hi everyone and welcome to Crossway Kids Online. My name is Carly and I'm super excited that you're here again with us this week. Have you had a good week? What was the best part of your week? What did you do on the weekend? Did you do some sports? Did you go out with your family and friends? Whatever you did, I hope you had a great time. And we're gonna have a great time here looking at God's word and learning about him. So let's check out what we've got in store this week. book of Ephesians. Ephesians is one of 21 letters in the New Testament. 
The leaders of the early church wanted to teach Jesus followers what was true, and often they wrote letters to do that. The Apostle Paul sent one of these letters to the believers in the church at Ephesus. Paul had visited Ephesus on his third missionary journey to tell people about Jesus. The people in Ephesus worshipped false gods, but Paul spent nearly three years starting a brand new baby church there. When Paul had to leave after a riot broke out, he knew the Jesus followers still had a lot to learn. So, a few years later, Paul wrote a letter to encourage the Ephesians. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Padma. After Paul left Ephesus, he continued to tell people about Jesus, but a few years later, he was arrested. Paul didn't let being under house arrest stop him though. He used that time to write letters of encouragement, including his famous letter to the believers in Ephesus. I am sending this letter to you, God's holy people in Ephesus. Because you belong to Christ Jesus, you are faithful. Paul went on to remind the Ephesians how God had chosen them to belong to Jesus and how that should give them amazing hope. In the second part of the letter, he wrote about the ways that following Jesus could show up in their everyday lives, like in the way they spoke to each other. Okay, uh, make sure to get this down. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. You know what Paul was saying? Your words have power. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes my words get away from me, and that can cause some serious damage, like a loose boulder tumbling down the hillside. Paul called this evil talk. Another way to say that is simply bad language or harmful words. Let's break that down. The obvious one is bad words. That's any language that doesn't honor God's name or words your grown-ups have told you are inappropriate. But harmful words can be a lot sneakier than that. For instance, when you grumble or complain, you make everyone around you miserable. Another kind of harmful words is gossip. That means talking about another person when they aren't around, especially if it's something mean or something you wouldn't say to their face. And of course, any unkind words can be hurtful. And here's the last one on our list, lying. When you don't tell the truth, people can get hurt, including you. That's a lot to remember. Honestly, feels like it would be easier to do this all the time. The second part of our verse offers some help. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. The best way to not say something harmful is to focus on saying something helpful instead. Let's take a look. Helpful words can encourage. I'm sorry you're having a hard time. I'm here for you. Helpful words can celebrate someone. You did awesome. I can totally see how hard you work. Helpful words can serve someone too. Yeah, this confused me at first too, but it's easier if you do this part first. And you can always find something to say thank you for, even when you're tempted to complain. Thanks for always making dinner, Mom. When you focus on words that encourage, celebrate, serve, and thank others, it's a lot easier to stay away from harmful words. Paul said that by doing that, then what you say will help those who listen. Your words have so much power. There are times you can make someone's day or ruin it with just one sentence. That's why one of the best ways to show you're following Jesus is to use your words wisely. The end.